Welcome to another episode of The Nerd and The Geek. I'm Spencer. And I'm Seth. We've never done that before. Ever. Because. It's like 90 episodes in. It's like, just spice it up. Yep, Throw a little exactly. paprika. Exactly. You don't know what's coming. Cumin. Hit a baseball. Exactly. Or do that. Like what is the that? salt guy. Oh, Salt Bay? Yeah, Salt Bay. Yep. Solo. A Star Wars story. Title's too long. Yeah. Just Solo. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Just chop Star Wars off it. They we know. know. They know. He's kind of iconic. Oh, I should do a hat change. Same hat. That's the joke. Yeah. It's the same exact hat. Rebels. I like the Rebels. Yeah? I don't like this hat. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't bend as well. Gotcha. All right. Give it time. So. I forgot my hat. That's why I had to compensate with two hats. Exactly. Call me two hats. Yes. From now on. Gotcha. Oh, this movie. I was gonna, can I? Okay. I want to tell you something. So on the on yeah, footage. On footage. Tell okay. it everyone. All right, so got a hot scoop. Fun fact. Fun fact. Okay. You um did you know that Childish Gambino got his name from a Wu Tang clan generator? Yes. So I put my name in and your name. Alright. Okay. My name is Intellectual Madman. Intellectual Madman. Yeah. And you're Master Madman. <laughs> so I think that's kinda I'm cool. Your dad. <laughs> I think it's. I'm your dad. I think I'm real proud of you, son. I think it's kind of cool that like we we have a, a linking word. But anyway, I put in everybody that I knew. I just I just like that I'm your dad. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm super hyped about it. I gotcha. Um. So, son, <laughs> let's have a heart to heart talk about Han Solo. About Solo, a Star, Star Wars, Wars story. story. Okay. Um. Let's say the most star studded cast. Star Wars has given us. Yeah, definitely. Because Star Wars is known uh, for kind of doing unknowns. I guess prequels you could get in a debate. It's Maybe Liam Neeson was McGregor, like McGregor Neeson. But at that Natalie time, Portman. But at that yeah. time, they hadn't done much. I guess like Woody's your. Bi- we'll get there. Yeah. So a uh, cast with names you will recognize. Yeah. Um, just straight up off the bat, mm-hmm. it's it's this week. Are you excited? Kind of. Where's your expectations at? Like, what do I want from it? Or, like, Let's how see, excited I am? Yeah, like, uh, do, you, do you expect to come out of this movie bad taste in your mouth? Do you expect to be, okay, it was a movie, or this was a good I'm expecting, Star Wars mm, it was a movie. Yeah. That's kind of, like, where I'm at. If it's more than that, awesome. Right. If it's less than that, I'd be like, wasn't surprised. <laughs> That's kind of my exact thought, is... <laughs> Coming off of Last Jedi, yeah, and the um, I'm sorry, Nate, uh, turd that we had two years ago. Oh, Rogue One. Rogue One. That movie's grown on me a little bit. It's still really low on my list. Yeah, but like I don't hate it as much as I did. I think they've done great things for expectations because for me, if you remember, Episode Seven coming out the gate, I'm hyped as I can be. Yeah. Star Wars is here again. It's back, baby. And then they just Cincinnati turd it all over my chest. What, with seven? With with eight and... Oh, gotcha. Since seven. And row yeah, one. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And it's really brought my expectations down. Yeah. But I am pumped for this movie. Yeah. Because I don't think this will be a pop success where everyone's going to like it. Because mm-hmm. uh, listening to interviews and stuff like that, they said it's like a character piece. Mm-hmm. Which is my bag, baby. Yeah. Um... So, but it's, you but, think it'll be more for Star Wars fans, you yeah, think? That it's I not going to be for the people, massive audience? I, I don't know how just overall popularly successful it will be. Yeah. Just because character pieces kind of, they don't, they don't get people talking. No. Because I, I don't think we're going to get crazy action scenes that we haven't seen the, the precursor to in the trailer. Yeah. No, and I don't, it's not like people are going to have lightsabers. You can't do a whole lot with a gun. You right. know what I mean? It's a lot of... Pointing and shooting, pointing and shooting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm psyched for this cast yeah. for the most part. Uh, we've talked about it before. I want to, I yeah. want to get it, get out there to the people. Yeah. But what are your kind of hits or misses? We got Alvin. Oh, Alden Ehrenreich. Alden. I yeah, can't... Alden Ehrenreich <laughs> playing solo. He looks like Han. Yeah, kinda. I I, I think I would have been a good choice too, but I get it. Did you? Did I you get it. Get out there. I get did it. You get your name out there. I couldn't. Did you? I couldn't. I don't know when these things are happening. That's the whole thing. Like, I look. You need an agent. I do. I was going to say, because I, I mean, I kind of look like Alden Ehrenreich. Yeah. Yeah. This kid could act. Uh, did you see? Me? I, um, yeah, this kid could act. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Attention, Cirque 1, Cirque 2. Boy, have you seen Cirque 3? Yeah. Two's my favorite, but yeah. Uh, 
Twilight? 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 Anyway. This boy's Hail, got it. <laughs> Hail Caesar. Yeah, Hail Caesar. Where you were going. Yeah. Yeah. This kid, uh, for, I like the movie, but an overall boring movie, this kid, like, just took the show mm-hmm. and, and against major stars and just was everything me and Koi was talking about out of the theater. So I've been psyched. I, I'll say it here a million times. This kid that everyone talks about that does a stupid impression. Oh, that one guy? Suck a butt, buddy. <laughs> Stick on YouTube doing your impressions. Yeah. It's great for it's a one, click. I was going to say. I don't want to watch your impression for two Yeah, hours. I was going to say. It's one thing to be able to do an impression, but it's another thing to kind of like channel the, the essence of a character. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's yeah. like... Um, like, it's one thing to just be Han Solo, but it's another thing to just, like, you know, drip Han Solo, basically. Right. Like, kind of sprinkle Han in. You you go things. back to eight years ago when we were filming these. Yeah. We're not sounding like we do now. We're not mm-hmm. looking like we do now. We've yeah. got different mannerisms. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of this less back na- in the day. Yeah, and less now. Um, There's less beard. I feel like I control my hands. <laughs> yeah. He used to wear a hat. Yeah. <laughs> You <laughs> asshole! I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's not just a depression. I'm really glad we didn't get it. Yeah, that one guy. Solo impression. Yeah. What what else in the cast? Do you have any? I mean, thing? I'm excited for Donald Glover. <laughs> yeah. I could talk for hours. I was about to say Childish Gambino himself. That's why I brought it up. Our uh, our Wu Tang days. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty excited to see him just because the whole like, um, did you hear about how he prepared for the role? Which part? Where he talked to him or where... Oh, no, before that, all he did was he went and got a cheese pizza and then watched Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, yep. like, what, what, the ki- role. what kind of homework is that? Let's that sounds call. awesome. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And when he... So, apparently, um, everyone talked to everyone. He mm-hmm. talked to Harrison and then Donald talked to uh, Billy, Billy D. D. Yeah. And Billy D, like, Do- Donald was there ready to take notes and everything. He's just like, be cool. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I think that's it. I yeah. think that's all he's got to be. Is just wear a cape. Yeah. Be a cool dude. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I, I think he's perfect for it. Like, this man's a genius. I, I will big up Donald Glover forever. Yeah. I mean, I've been, not to be like, oh, I've been doing it for longer than you, but be a coy since um, Camp, Camp Fire, his original album. Oh, I was going to say uh, Mystery Because Team. the internet... Um, yeah, well, <laughs> as far as his music, yeah, well, I was gonna say his acting. Yeah, yeah. His acting. I, I'm I'm really new to his uh, his music. If you haven't seen Except, Atlanta, oh, I was gonna say Community. <laughs> watch Atlanta. Yeah, Community's where he got his big jump off. Mm-hmm. Stand up. This funny kid too. is like, he's like Con- like what Kanye wants to be, like Kanye's saying that he's all like he's like Kanye with like so much talent. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like it's just and like what brain. Kanye wants to be now. Yeah. And Kanye's like, oh no, but like Donald, like Donald's gonna like dethrone him, I think eventually. Oh, I think he's Already miles it. above it, just because okay. how many disciplines this guy is incredible in. Mm-hmm. It's just like you can't touch it. He's got that whole like that it factor. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't you know, know what just, it is. Yeah, but I'm. Gonna, but he's got it. I'm gonna tackle that, and he's gonna do it. Yeah. So we're, let's quit gushing over him. Woo! Let's let's talk about some other people. Uh, Amelia Clark. I that. hate it. I can't stand it. The, the the Targaryen queen herself. And that's my problem. Yeah, you're she never going to not what, be Terminator? Team. Yeah, and it sucked. She was... She does kind of look like Linda Hamilton. It doesn't that's matter. I was, that's She's like, Screech now. Like, you <laughs> see Screech, he can't be anything but Screech. I get you. Same with Game of Thrones. It's too iconic. It's too bread and butter for, like... It's out there as the medium. Mm-hmm. You can't be anything else. I get you. Especially if you got your name on that show. Like, Aquaman, okay. He was being Conan and looking stupid before that. So yeah, he could no, I get you. And he's stupid dude with muscles. Yeah. Jason's great, but... <laughs> you, you look like you can't do math. But it's like... <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he looks like he can't do math. <laughs> looks like single digit additions a little tough. Um, I'm hoping that she doesn't have too much of, uh, screen time. uh, too much screen time. If we somehow got some sort of precursor to Leia, somehow, okay. that, like, he's into, like, that strong woman or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. if we got that from her, that'd be kind of cool. Right. 
But uh, moving on, Woody, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Woody's the man, but I just don't I just feel really, like he fits. Really wish he was an alien or something. Right? Yeah, like it's not his. Like I wish they would have done a mocap um, performance rather than just him just being there. Right. Yeah. I love him, but yeah, I get the same thing. It's just weird to have like a major star just be like, I'm a dude in Star Wars. By the way, I'm in the Star Wars now. Bah! No, it's like because Antonio Banderas. <laughs> even the, even with Sam Jackson in the prequels, like. He had still, like, even at that time, hadn't blown up, like, the way he is yeah, now. Yeah, he was yeah. really famous, but, like, he wasn't, he wasn't Nick Fury famous. Yeah, exactly, where it's just kind of like, he hadn't done Snakes on a Plane yet or anything That's like that. That's really, if you look at Sam Jackson's Tentacle. career. Black Snake mode. Look over <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. Look over oh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, yeah. We're looking at Black Snake mode <laughs> and Snakes on a Plane. I was going to say, he'd done, like, Unbreakable. What like, about the movies I did? That was it. I mean, he had, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, those, those like, premiere movies in yeah, American history? Yeah, he done those. Oh, yeah. He did do those. Um, uh, the fight, the, the trailer, like, cool moment. I think the train turning, the the yeah. Matrix slash Inception fight looks cool. Yeah, and the, did you, like, so the But I wish they didn't give it away. I, I wish you just saw the train go forward. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, crap, there's a train fight. So in the theater, you could have that. Holy that crap, moment. the train turns. I was going to say, the stormtroopers apparently are magnetic. Yeah, Yeah, that's how they can walk around on the train. Which is kind of cool because, well, like, they've said this is, like, action. A, like a heist film. So I'm like, cool, this is, like, you know, the western of old. Right. Uh, you know, it's we're going to rob this train. Um, It's really weird to me that Ron... What's his name? Howard. Howard is doing a heist movie. Why? He's just very... I think he should be more doing slow Chris, pace, Chris like, Hemsworth whale movies. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And, yeah. And, like, other... Family classics. Yeah. Well, he always... Uh, Lucas wanted him to do a Star Wars movie. Because he did Willow, right? Yeah. 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 They're working on Willow, too. I never got that I've into never, Willow. I've never seen Willow. Really? No. It's a nice adventure. Is it's it? It's real boring, so you'd like it. Oh, Liking okay. Lord of the Rings at all. Yeah, whatever. Not that hit him a little harder. It does. <laughs> it stings. It does. Aha! Lord of the Rings. Anyway. I don't know. Is anybody else that's really like... I mean, those are the four big ones that yeah. are in the movie. We've got uh, uh, like, there's a new. This is the new Peter Mayhew guy. Yeah, but he's Chewbacca. been doing stuff the whole time. He Peter Mayhew does what he can, yeah. and uh, this guy, mm -hmm. I can't say his name. Go yeah. to IMDb. It's crazy. He's a tall dude. John Favreau's in it too, which I think is interesting. Happy Who's, Hogan's in it himself. Yeah, I was gonna say he, he plays the voice of some creature. Let's go. See, why can't we do that with Woody? I would have liked that. Yeah. Yeah. So would have I. Yeah. Um, I'm hyped for this movie. Mm hmm Yes. You're hyped? Yes. Don't I don't know if I'm... A lot. Yeah. I don't know if I'm hyped enough to dress up. I'm not. I, I just... I'd want to do something more themed since there's no Jedi. I don't have Yeah, I was... Dude, uh, my wife is actually just here off screen. Hi! And, hello. Hi. Um, that we... I contemplated pretty hard about buying a Han Solo outfit for this. And I was like, you know, I've always wanted Are they wanted selling one. it at ThinkGeek? No, no. Oh, I was just going to piece it together. I thought it was a good plug. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Work. But yes, I am. Uh, I'm pumped. I'm. Uh, I'm excited. Oh, one other name, Paul Bentley, the Vision himself. Yeah. Is in this movie. I did. I didn't know he was in the movie. I saw some like uh, talk show interviews and saw yeah. him on him. Just like I'm calling it now. He apparently has some blades. Okay. I bet Han will get his iconic scar on his chin. Ooh. From the blades. Let's go. With the. In a Do you still scene. think? I remember you called this an uh, a Paul Sheldon video straight out of episode uh, eight. Do oh, the dice? the dice will they still are. play? Oh, movie? hell yeah. That's it. Yeah, he wins the back with the dice. I'm calling that now. Called it? Calling it, yes. Plot still point, calling yes. to fruition. Yes, that it was like, as soon as I got out of episode A, I'm like, so the Han Solo movie's about those dice. <laughs> you think it's going to be more than just like, he wins them and he keeps them? No, because he's got them hanging, too, in yeah. the trailer. I think that there's just, there's more to it. Okay. Like, those are just his lucky dice. Die, whatever. I'm hoping, too, that like, in... In legend lore, they both cheated. Both yeah. him and Lando cheated in that game, so I hope that they do. We that, see all that. Yeah, that we see both of them cheating, because I think that'd be a, a lot of fun. But, uh, but yeah, the other thing. Word on the street. I've been doing, or I've been trying hard not to do any, like, spoilers or anything like that. Because you know Daddy hates that. It's true. But word on the street is, prequel villain might be showing back up in this. Darth Maul! Supposedly. Baloney. Supposedly. I've heard that or Jabba the Hutt. John that's a prequel villain? I mean, he's in yeah. he's in uh, Phantom Menace, but I've heard that Darth Maul might be showing up. 
now I'm racking my brain on camera and not going to say anything. That's weird. Robot legs and all. Very weird. It is, but I mean, he's a crime lord at this time between Clone Wars and Do we and know, Rebels. yeah, do we know, like, time frame of this This is about to, ten oh. years. It's, whoa, well, it's ten years before the, um, ten years before, before yeah. So there's some wiggle room that they could do something. Let's stuff. wiggle, baby. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sure. I want to see Darth Maul wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He probably could with his robot legs. Very robotic. Yeah. The other side note, just before we hang up, uh, rumor mills are churning out there. Yeah. People are saying Mara Jade's back in, in episode nine. Do you believe it? <laughs> Did you throw semen on our fans? I might have. Can you say sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry. Give them the towel. I'm sorry. Star Wars paper towels coming in hot. You don't think I'm prepared for this movie? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. For listening to us. Mm-hmm. I hope to see you at Eastside 9 at 7 p.m. Theater 3. It's where we go. It's what we do. Sit to, light, see. Sit to the left and you hate it. But I don't I care. I hate that bar. <laughs> Give me the middle. We go so early. To be <laughs> sit the to orphan the kids that don't get to see the movie. We, I like sitting over there. Oh. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. It'll be an adventure. It will be a sure. Star Wars adventure. Exactly. And that's always the nice thing. You guys have a great night, day, whenever you're watching this. All of it.